been looking for freedom. And that's why today we're gonna make a sandwich. For a sandwich is the ultimate food of liberty. You cannot only eat it anywhere you like, but you can also assemble it in your very own style. For these winter sandwich patties, we're using a mixture that I call kind of köfte. So it's a mixture of bulgur and grit or semolina because this will make it stick together better. So you put the two ingredients into a bowl. The ratio is about five bulgur to one semolina. And then you pour boiling water over it till it's covered or a bit more, maybe a centimeter more. And let it rest for 15 to 20 minutes till it's all soaked in. So what is freedom? I've been asking myself if everyone's looking for it. Freedom means that I'm free to do what I want at any all time. So generally, we understand freedom as the opposite of slavery. A slave is an unfree person. A slave has to do what the master tells him. A slave cannot make any choices on his own. That's why he's unfree. We see us, the free people, as the masters, as the ones that would have the possibility to have their own slave if they wanted to. That's why we're free, because we can do whatever we want. And I think that we are kind of mixing up freedom with power. Crush the garlic, peel the garlic, cut the garlic in very small pieces. Peel the onion, cut the onion in very small pieces. Let's go one step back. How does one even become a slave? You become a slave if you are ripped out of your environment. Most of the slaves, for example, in the Roman age were prisoners of war. So they got ripped out of their environment. They lost all their friends and families. They lost their social status. <laughs> and then only could they become a slave. Because without any social status, without any people around you that love you and support you, without any family and friends, you are not free. Add the spicy ingredients. This means add the salt, add the tomato paste, the sweet paprika and the hot paprika. You can also add some chili if you like. Tomato sometimes has this bitterness in it, so that's why we're adding a sweetener. I added agave, but you can also add sugar or sugared water or some syrup of a special flavor, if you prefer that. It really doesn't matter, just to fight this bitterness. And the lemon. And then you can add the parsley after you've chopped it up. Try to cut it not too small because it will get bitter, so kind of smallish. And now the real fun begins. You're gonna mix this whole thing with your hands. Dive in deeply and knead. It took me about 15 minutes to knead it all through. So here are some nice images of me kneading in different positions. And this is the moment where other people can gain power over you. The moment that you don't have anyone left to support you. And this is the moment where you can become a slave. So if we still want to define freedom as the opposite of slavery, this means that freedom means you are free to have friends, free to care for them, to be a part of a complex social ecosystem. Freedom does not mean to do whatever you please. Freedom means caring and being part of a community. Now for the tasting moment. Is it too salty, not salty enough, or lacking anything else? Feel free to add whatever you think this mixture is still missing.
Then, if it's sticky enough, you can start to form small patties. So for the rest of the sandwich, I have green onions that I cut into little wheels. Now we're cooking for comrades again. You know we're gonna unskin the carrot. And then the carrots that I have first peeled and then with the peeler sliced up into really thin slices like with a mandolin. Another good example here is the prison. When you're in prison, you're deprived of your freedom. Basically, you're not free to go wherever you want or do whatever you want. But most importantly, it does mean that you are taken away from all your social connections. You are no longer allowed to make friendships or to touch people or to have sex or to display solidarity with your co-prisoners. You are no longer meant to receive or give any affection. You are only a prisoner. You are unfree. And of course some salad. And to give it a bit of a special taste, some beetroots. Now this may come as a surprise, but the beetroot will really smoothen all these flavors out without dominating them too much. So it's assembly time for your sandwich or better, assembly time for your friends. If you want to make take-out sandwiches, the easiest version is just to take some old newspapers and wrap the sandwiches into these. And that's why you should share meals with your friends. Take them along for a walk, outside, do stuff together to grow close to each other. Feel free to maybe even assemble a sandwich for them.